You're listening to the Minutes on Growth podcast, the show that brings you mindfully curated insights into relationships, spirituality, personal development, and everything in between. With your host, Tanaz the Saint Four. Hi, soul friends. It's Tanaz the Saint Four, and welcome back to another short solo episode of the Minutes on Growth podcast. Today, I want to share with you a prayer that I have been reciting every night for the past five years. And I feel like before I share what it is and you choose to practice it, I need to make a mini disclaimer, and that is expect the unexpected. This prayer is so powerful that it literally landed me in a different country in the most unexpected way possible, and it ended my super secure long-term relationship. Yes, you heard that right. Now, before you freak out and think to yourself, why on earth would I want a prayer that will turn my life upside down? Please hear me out. Looking back on it and looking back on my journey, what the prayer actually did was it removed me from an environment that no longer served me, where I was no longer growing, and instead moved me to a safe environment that fostered growth and expansion. You see, sometimes we're unable to recognize how certain situations are harming us because A, we're so submerged in it that we've kind of normalized that environment for ourselves. And B, because it might not be harmful in the traditional sense of the word. And here's what I mean. I notice now, that back then there was a period of one to two years where I was living from my comfort zone. I was staying stagnant. I might have even been operating from a scarcity mindset and I was definitely playing very small. I was literally killing my soul's desires and I was consistently limiting my potential without even realizing it. I was doing the bare minimum with my career. I kept making up excuses for my lack of action to myself. And not surprisingly, I woke up every day feeling uninspired and a certain emptiness in my heart, which makes sense because creative energy can't flow in an idle, non-moving vessel. Now, not a lot of people notice this because from the outside, I was in a healthy relationship, I was socializing, I had a career, but I knew, I had this inner knowing that I was consistently showing up at maybe 30 to 40% of my potential. So I knew I wasn't showing up, but I really couldn't put my finger on what it was that was creating this resistance or why I was showing up that way. Until one day, my spiritual teacher shared this prayer with me and told me to practice it without control and attachment to any particular outcome. This was so hard for me because I loved being in control. Growing up, I planned everything because it gave me the sense of being in control. Control was how I felt safe. Now I understand that it's an illusion because we're never fully in control of what happens on the outside and we can actually only control our internal responses to them. But I had trained my mind to think that A, I was in control and B, if I continued to be in control, I was safe. And trust me, never in a million years did I think I would end up where I am today when I started reciting it every night. But that is what happens when we surrender ourselves to the universe. The universe's 5D vision is the grandest vision of them all. And it's always happening for our highest good. But only if, and that's if in caps lock, we allow it to take the reins. So you might be wondering, what is this powerful prayer? It's actually very simple. So repeat after me. Universe, I surrender. Please take away anything and anyone in my life that is no longer serving my highest good with ease and grace. 
Universe, I surrender. Please take away anything and anyone in my life that is no longer serving my highest good with ease and grace. And yes, anything and anyone includes your partner, your career, the country you're living in, the friends you have, literally everything and anything. And if the thought scares you, good. It scared me too. It's scary to release control, especially control to this extent. But trust me when I tell you, I've gone through one of the wildest rides of my life. And I now know with certainty that whatever arises from us surrendering is happening for us and never to us. I mean, my ride was so unexpected that everyone keeps telling me to write a book about it and people would still genuinely think it's fiction. But that's for another day when I'm ready to share. For now, I want you to be open to practicing this prayer every night, releasing the reins and allowing the universe to co-create with you, to protect you, to support you, to have your back And by the way, I still struggle with releasing control sometimes because it's human nature to want to know how a certain story ends. But when we're so fixated on writing a specific story that's mediocre, we deprive ourselves from experiencing a magical story beyond our wildest dreams because our 3D vision is limited. And that's why I called it mediocre. There's limitations because it's based on what we think is possible. But the universe's 5D grand vision for us, it has no limitations. It's limitless. That's where the miracles are. That's where the magic happens. So soul friends, I hope this prayer serves you as much as it has served me and that you allow yourself to experience the magic of surrender and you allow the prayer to take away what is no longer serving you, to allow you to step into the energy of expansion and growth and to do all of that with ease and grace. Thank you for listening. Speak soon. Thank you for joining us this week on Minutes on Growth. If you enjoyed today's episode, then make sure you never miss a show by clicking the subscribe button now.